Hi, I'm Tiffany, and like you, I am a Cosmere fan, and like you, I would like to get my friends and the people I care about also into the Cosmere. But what I am not going to do is recommend that they start with Warbreaker. It's not the best one. Honestly, this is not the best Cosmere novel. I hear this one recommended a lot as a starting point into the Cosmere. I have seen it recommended as the place to kind of dip in your toes, see if you like Brandon Sanderson's writing before diving into the big depth of the Stormlight Archive or the Mistborn series. I don't think that this is the book that is going to hook people into the Cosmere and leave them saying, I want more of this guy because this was amazing. Most people I have heard talk about Warbreaker don't think it's amazing. They don't think it's as good as some of his other works because it's not, but it's easy to recommend because it's a standalone. It's not part of a huge series. It's not a huge book in and of itself. It's easier to say, try this little bite. And let me ask you, do you really love Warbreaker? Is this the one that you want to nerd out about with your friends? As to why or why not you should recommend Warbreaker as a place to start, I did make a little mini pros and cons list. <laughs> because I don't want this video to just be don't recommend Warbreaker because I don't like it. This isn't about me, this is about you trying to get your friends to join you in your reading. So pros, it is a standalone. Warbreaker you can just read by itself and I think that has a certain appeal, and if they ended up not liking it at the end, they don't feel like they have to go read the rest of the series just to get closure. Warbreaker is also a manageable length all by itself. You're not reading a super long book, you're not asking for a two month time commitment. Some people could read this in a couple days or a week or a couple weeks. It's not like you're asking them to read The Wheel of Time with you. And as far as introducing them to the writing of Brandon Sanderson, it does have the cool magic system, it does have the twist that he is known for, and it does have multiple characters who get a good decent arc and character growth throughout the length of this one book. Those are all pros, those are all good reasons to suggest it. But my cons list, <laughs> the reasons I might not say you should read Warbreaker first, the first one, and I'm so sorry because I know some people love him, is Light Song. Light Song is not a bad character. He has the mystery. I assume you've read it, but spoilers just in case. His selfless act at the end, his heroism, makes him an admirable character to read about. However, before you can get to that final act of heroism, you have to read all of his awful and cringeworthy dialogue. And I'm not sure that I would want to subject my friend to Light Song speaking to Blushweaver <laughs> almost ever. <laughs> Con number two might seem like a small thing to you, but there are way too many raised eyebrows. A raised eyebrow by itself is a small thing. Why should this bug me and why should it make me not recommend an entire book? Because it shows a lack of imagination and creativity. If all you can do is raise an eyebrow, it starts to stand out and it starts to be distracting and it takes away from the story because you're like, oh, they raised their eyebrow again? That's weird. Do they know how to do anything else? Do they have other facial features to utilize? I'm sorry for being so sarcastic about this, but I did post to my Instagram story. When I had it open, there were four instances of a raised eyebrow between those two pages. It was a little much. But my final con, and kind of the real reason I wouldn't suggest Warbreaker as a starting point, is because it's almost too much of what it is. It kind of feels like Brandon Sanderson was an AI reading all the Sanderson books and creating what it thought a Sanderson novel should be using all of the Sanderson cliches. The writing almost seems too light, almost too flippant. It almost reads like he needed a standalone, so he just kind of rushed and threw one together. And it doesn't read to me like he put in all the care to make it good like he does into some of his other books. 
When I read The Way of Kings, it feels like he laboriously went over each chapter, each paragraph, trying to make it as good as possible. And Warbreaker does not feel that way to me. If I wanted to recommend my grandmother's cookies to a friend, I'm not going to have them try the ones that she whipped up together really fast and called good enough as the first taste they get of my grandma's cooking. I'm going to have them try her best ones first. That way they're more likely to trust her cooking. They are more likely to want to come back for more. If they try one that's not as good, they're like, oh, that was just a one-off. That's not the normal thing. But I will go try more because I had some of the good ones. I started my Cosmere journey with the Way of Kings. It was so good. I am willing to read almost anything that Sanderson writes because I know he can write that well. This one was fine, not terrible, but I would not suggest it first. Okay, I'm going to guess that the friend that you are recommending the Cosmere to falls into one of four categories. They are either the person who doesn't really read much in the first place, but is willing to give it a try because they're your friend and you want them to and you won't stop talking about this author in this series. I'm going to say that if they are not much of a reader to start, Brandon Sanderson probably isn't the right author for them. And if you want to give your non-reading friend a little taste of Sanderson, he does have a couple of short stories and novellas which is probably a better place to start than an almost 700 page novel. Also, for the person who doesn't normally read, this does have political intrigue. It has a complicated magic system. It has multiple point of view characters. That's a little much for somebody who's not used to reading in the first. The second type of person that you are recommending books to might be the person who does like to read, but doesn't normally read fantasy or even fiction. So you are introducing them to something new that they don't normally read in the first place. I'm going to say that for this person who is an experienced reader and is now getting used to the fantasy genre and you want them to read the Cosmere, I'm going to suggest that you steer them towards Mistborn. The first book of which, The Final Empire, will give them a taste of Sanderson's reading. It's not as big or as complicated as the Stormlight Archive. It's not a standalone, but you know by the end Spoilers, but if you're watching this, you've probably read it, so <laughs> spoiler warning just in case. At the end, the Lord Ruler is defeated. There is some closure. Your hero has died, but that's okay because there's a different hero. I think The Final Empire could be read as a standalone if they decide they're not interested in Brandon Sanderson's writing or continuing the Cosmere, and then if they like it enough, they can keep going and dig deeper and find out more about what happens on this world. Your third category of friend is a reader. They do love fantasy, but they tend to stick towards the YA, shorter, easier to read stuff. In which case, you might have them read something outside of the Cosmere. Brandon Sanderson does write young adult books. And if you, like me, have not read their YA, I'll look at whatever is the most highly rated. The one I recommended to my 17-year-old sister-in-law was in the Cytoverse, which I think is what it's called. I recommended Skyward to her as a place to get started. She never told me whether she liked it or not. And your fourth category of friend is the experienced epic fantasy reader. They are in the genre. They have read The Wheel of Time, The Lord of the Rings, Molazin, and they just don't know where to start in the Cosmere because there's so many options. This friend will not be intimidated by the length of the series, the length of the books, the multiple point of view characters. They just need their friend to recommend where do I start? Because if you're recommending this to your friend, you want them to read what you like so you can talk about it with somebody. And if you just really, really, really want your friend to read the book that you love so you can nerd out about it with each other, have them start with the one you love the most, the one that you think is the best, the one that you really want to talk about. And as a fellow Cosmere fan, I will recommend my character study videos from the Stormlight Archive or Mistborn characters for your enjoyment. Subscribe here for more fantasy and bookish content like this, and I'll see you next time. Bye!